What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Yo, if you're new here or you've been here before and you haven't done it already, what are you waiting for, guys? Please go down there, subscribe to the channel. Also, hit the notification bell up there that way you know when I drop a video. I try to drop a video like once a week, but as you guys can tell, my videos that I'm busy, you know, I work, I'm in barber school, that's why I drop barber videos on here too. So look out for my shorts, you know, shorts are really important. So look out for them, like it, share it, whatever you have to do, just help me out. Um, so subscribe, 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 like, you gotta like, like, you know, help your boy out. But anyway, um, I had a question, a very interesting question um, on my comments, and that's why I love when you guys leave me comments, because it gives me the understanding of what you guys are seeking, right? So I had a comment of like, how do you get accepted into the radiology program? So I was like, you know what, that's a good question. Like, nobody really asked that before, to be honest. So since they asked, I'm going to give you the information. I'm going to give you four reasons, not four reasons, four ways on how to get accepted into the radiology program. Now, is it a 100% acceptance? No, I can't guarantee you that. But um, these are four ways of, you know, that you can get into it. Stay for the last one because the last one is a surprise if you know me, but you won't be disappointed. So stay to the last one. So how do we get accepted to the radiology program? So the first step is you have to ace all these classes. Yes, I know. It's hard, man. It's hard because, you know, anatomy is not easy, algebra, then you got to take history, then you got to take English, and it's like, ah, oh. but I understand. But, you know, without, without struggle, there's no reward, right? So you have to do the best you can in these classes. That way you can get guaranteed, not, well, can't guarantee you, but that way you can get a better chance on getting accepted into the program. So you have to do the best you can on those classes. Um, so that is one. Two is you, it would help if you got some kind of medical background experience, whether if you're, um, a dental assistant, uh, a doctor's assistant, um, just any kind of medical program or any kind of medical, um, you know, experience will help you get accepted into the program. They'll be like, okay, we're not taking somebody that's new in. They're actually, you know, have some medical experience and know what they're kind of dealing with on a daily basis because it's hard to choose kids. You know, you, if you think about it, you're in a, you're in a college and you're professors and you're in, and you're a radiology tech professor and they're like, OK, pick 20 students out of these 150 people that applied. And it's hard to pick kids that are just straight out of high school that really don't know a lot about the real world. And they're just really, really book smart, but they don't really know, you know. So, you know, you have a lot of competition out there. So if you have a little bit of medical experience, it will help you, you know. So think about that. The third thing that can possibly help you guys, and this is for like older people um, and you're trying to get into a state college, is to get your bachelor's. If you wait in and say you tried already and you didn't get into it, and you're like, why did I get in? I got good grades, you know, um, I did the best I could or whatever. And my GPA is, I'm just on a number out there, you know, 3.8, you know, um, and I didn't get accepted. It helps if you get your bachelor's. I know nobody wants to think about going to school for two more years and get your bachelor's. But at the end of the day, if you're going to go into any medical career, it, it, it's beneficiary because you're going to need it to move up in, in, in the ladder. If you want to be a supervisor, manager, a lead. You know, you're going to need your bachelor's and eventually your master's if you decide to stay in that, you know, field or whatever. Um, so it definitely, definitely helps to get your bachelor's. So I know it's a hard, I know it's like a lot, like, uh, but yes, get your bachelor's if you're trying to get to a state college. Um, and if you have a great GPA, get your bachelor's and that will, I don't want to say 100% because nothing 100%, but it'll give you a 99.9% .9 chance of getting into the program because it's rare that you have people with bachelor's degrees getting trying to get into radiology or any kind of degree or any kind of program. So that's very impressive. The last one, I know everybody's like, you always say not to. The last one, if you get all your prerequisites at a state college, you try to get in and you couldn't get in and you're just at that age or at that time, you know what, I'm gonna drop out, it's not for me, I recommend a private college. And the only reason I say that is because you could, I hate, the reason that I, I can't say I hate, because I went to a private college and I'm grateful for it, because I respect my career, right? 
But the reason I always say not to go to a private college is it's so, so expensive. And if you go in as a new student to a private college, you got to take anatomy and everything there at a private college. So if you were ever to want to get your bachelor's, you cannot go to a state college. And your credits do not transfer. You know, that's always say, get your prerequisites at a state college. If you can't get into the program you choose, go to a private college because your core curriculum, which is your prerequisites, anatomy, algebra, all that, will always follow you and they're always transferable to your state university. So say you go to a private college for radiology and be like, okay, I got my radiology program, but I want to get my bachelor's, but I don't want to go back to a private college to get my bachelor's. It's going to cost like 80000 I want to go to a state college, which is like 30000 for a bachelor's. Your credits that you that you brought in from a state college will transfer with you to a university. That's why I always say do not go to a private college first. So there you go. Prerequisites first. Can't get into it. Go to a private college. But you know that's you know that's your decision, of course, at the end of the day. But those are the ways that you can get into a radiology tech program or any kind of medical program that you choose. Um, good grades medical experience, bachelor's if you have to, worst case scenario, last case scenario, private school. All right, guys, as always, I hope that this helped, and